<laughs> so you've got before the arse edger at start, you've got an arse edger that's like there. Is Again, in between the arse edge. You would be looking at a thousand. Yeah. This is another arse edge here. Arse is if you're looking from that arse edge to that arse edge, you're looking about a hundred thousand years. Yeah, so you get Okay, because around yeah. this area here, every ice age cycle is about every 100,000 years apart. Why is it white? It's white. Very simple explanation. During an ice age, Australia, you know, very cold conditions, not very many plants could grow. It wasn't that this area was covered in ice, mind you, because you mentioned ice age and people just think, oh, snow, snow yeah. everywhere. The only place effectively in Australia had snow was... Tassie and then the Alp regions of Victoria and New South Wales. Mm. Mm. So here it was just cold, mm. cold and dry. Mm. And the plants weren't able to grow. Mm. You would have had some plants, but not very many. So you basically had very dry, cold conditions. The plants weren't dropping leaves, wow. okay? And you weren't getting organic matter building up in the soil. You weren't getting tannins. So it's the water coming through when there's more plants growing coming through that rotting leaves, picking up the tannins, that's what forms the brown colour that you see there. So that's the mm. short faced kangaroo, right? Yeah, or yeah. flat faced kangaroo, face, yeah. yeah. So we've got the large jumping legs that come from uh, a plains environment. Ah, now, I'll, I'll correct you there, there's a theory that have come out recently, and this is only just, yeah. you know, the last few months. A scientist actually reckons they couldn't jump. They were too big and heavy they wouldn't have been but able they to take the weight. they evolved creatures that could jump. Not necessarily. He reckons what they were actually, what they were doing, they were standing up on that one toe, yeah. and they were effectively walking around like humans. That's what standing I Standing up on their two toe. Yeah. They weren't bouncing around like your grass in kangaroos, they were walking, according to him. And he's been looking at where the muscles have been attached to the bones. You're yeah, like slow walk, slow walk and they eat. Well, just up on their tiptoes, yeah, walking around, reaching up. They got the really long arms with mm. the long fingers so they could reach up above their heads. Flat face so they could pick those leaves. The eyes at the front of the skull so they're focusing on their food. They don't have the good side vision. Which is why we've got eyes in front of our skull so we can focus on our food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people focus too much. <laughs> um, grass and <eating> kangaroos. <laughs> You can see the eyes are more at the side of the skull, more which means at the predators, isn't it? they have uh, got the heads down much and on the ground. They're looking at the predators, yeah. exactly. So if you were a human around back then, you're hunting, looking for food, it would have been a lot easier to hunt a leaf eating kangaroo. It would have been able to sneak up behind, it's only got a good front vision, would have been a bigger target, easier to, you know, kill it, <laughs> more of it to aim at. And also, you're going to get more meat from it. So there would have been, you know, lots of reasons why that they were perhaps targeted more than the grass and kangaroo, which would have really been a lot harder to catch yeah. and a lot less food on it. Okay? But what they think effectively was happening, they reckon that the humans were essentially targeting not the fully grown adults of these, but the ones that are a bit younger, sort of like the teenagers, the young adults, and the, the older baby ones, because they were easier to take back to cook up at the fire, you know, take back to camp, so to speak. But if they'd been doing that and focusing on a particular age group over a very short period of time, it would have effectively caused the extinction of those animals. Because once those older ones died off, there wouldn't have been any young ones to replace them. And you could effectively, you know, lock out a species very quickly by doing that. Yeah. So, three reasons, three theories they think the animals died. Fire in the landscape played a part with the, you know, fire causing a lot of their plant species to become extinct. Um, fire um, combined with hunting, you know, and there were droughts occurring in northern Australia, there's no evidence of that. But interestingly, no droughts in here. But if you think about it, if there were droughts occurring in northern Australia, you would have had those big herds of diprotodons. You saw a big diprotodon, you may not have seen it, but there's one oh, yeah, statue by the car one, park. Yeah, you would have had them coming down here in big herd groups looking for food. They would have been bulldozing trees out of their way. And that would have decimated the food supply down here for the other animals. You know, so there would have been an impact even if there were droughts occurring in northern Australia, but not down here. So it's 
these bigger animals, they were all gone, all became extinct by 45,000 years ago, within 15,000 years after humans arrived. Humans arrived around 60,000 years ago, common consensus. So, combination really of a lot of different factors as to why they became extinct. But it's a trend that's happened worldwide, not just Australia, it's happened in New Zealand after humans arrived, same thing happened, Ice Age animals, the giant mowers, giant plotless birds became extinct. Same happened in America, okay, you have the Ice Age animals, big animals like in the Ice Age movie, the giant sloth, Sid. <laughs> Sid is not a common sloth, he's a giant sloth. <laughs> you had um, mammoths, which were in Europe and the American continent. Saber-toothed cats, they became extinct after humans arrived. So once we started leaving Africa and impacting on the other continents, those animals just couldn't adapt, couldn't cope with us, you know. And it would have been the fire and a whole heap of reasons why. Um, but ultimately they all became extinct. But Australia, um, Africa being the only continent where you've still got essentially the Ice Age animals survive, which is interesting. Yeah.